Greetings, greetings, everyone. Welcome to lecture 54, chemistry, I guess, part 12. We're moving along. Today, we're going to talk a bit about acids and bases. Um, I want to emphasize, again, these lectures are meant for a class, Science 25, and we're just covering the rudiments of chemistry. It's not a, 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 a general chemistry class. So we're just touching base and getting some basic ideas about uh, acid bases and the various topics, okay? So let's continue, okay? Uh, first, we'll talk just a briefly about the uh, theory of Arrhenius, a chemist from 100 years ago, his theory on acids and bases. So let's see how, how Arrhenius defines acids and bases. Okay, for Arrhenius, acids dissolved in water, dissociate to form hydrogen ions. Remember, hydrogen ion is just a hydrogen nucleus. It's just a proton. So H plus is a proton. So in Arrhenius theory, uh, if you take an acid, if it dissolves in water, protons are given out, are dissociated. And by the same token, a base is a substance wherein if it's dissolved in water, it dissociates to form hydroxide ions, the OH minus ions. Okay, so theory of Arrhenius, acids uh, donate, uh, uh, dissociate to form protons, and bases dissolved and they dissociate to form hydroxide ions. Okay, hydrochloric acid dissolve, dissociates in solution according to, so HCl, just HCl. Is hydrochloric is hydrogen chloride? Excuse me. HCl. You see the little aq aqueous hydrogen chloride in solution is what we call hydrochloric acid. But HCl just by itself is hydrochloric is hydrogen chloride, and that's just that's a gas. So we need that aqueous to tell us that this is going to dissociate. So we put it in some H2O L liquid. Okay. Notice. We have that the HCl donates a proton to the water, right? So it donates a proton. So you have an H plus floating around in water. The H plus hooks up with an H2O to form a hydronium. Remember, this is hydronium ion, hydronium. So that H plus mixes with the water to form H3O plus one hydronium ions. Okay, so the free protons hook up with the hydrogen to form hydronium ions. So notice, <clears throat> notice that the water here is accepting a proton, accepting a proton. The hydrochloric acid is donating a proton. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. The theory of Bronsted-Lowry, for Bronsted-Lowry, an acid is something that donates a proton and a base is something that accepts a proton. So according to Bronsted-Lowry, right, the acid here is something that donates the proton. What's donating a proton is the HCl aqueous. What's accepting the proton is the H2O, the water. So in the theory of Bronsted-Lowry, in this reaction, water is accepting a proton. Water is behaving as a base. Pay attention. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Note H2O may be a proton donor or a proton acceptor. That's called amphiprotic amphiprotic it could either either it depends on a reaction act as a uh, proton acceptor or as a proton uh, donor all right let's talk a bit about uh strengths of uh acids okay the strength of an acid or a base is not related to its concentration okay that's very important so a 0.6 m hydrochloric solution is not stronger than a 0.2 M hydrochloric solution. It's more concentrated, but it's not a stronger acid. The How strong an acid or how strong a base is has to do with the degree of dissociation, how easily the acid gives up protons, or how easily the base accept protons in the theory of Bronsted and Lowry. So pay attention, it's very important, that the concentration of an acid or a base 
is not related to the strength of the acid or the base. The strength of the acid or base depends on how easily they give up protons or accept protons in the theory of Bronsted and Lowry, okay? Uh, again, let's look at a couple of acids and I'll say a couple of words here, all right? Um, Hydrochloric acid, we just did, aqueous. Nitric acid, HNO3. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Acetic acid, CH3, COOH, all aqueous. Carbonic acid, and so forth. So what I'd like to do is, let's erase. Let me show you a couple things. Let's look at the polyatomic ions. Do you remember nitrate, NO3 minus one, nitrate? Right, these are the polyatomic ions, ion. So it has a minus one. If I add a proton to that, I get HNO3, right? Add a proton, which has a plus one. This was minus one, remember? So now if I make this aqueous, this is now what we call nitric acid okay hno3 in solution hno3 aqueous if we put it in water this now dissociates it gives up the proton so it wants to be an no3 minus one okay and and then we have plus h3o plus one so the proton went from the nitric acid to the water. The water accepts the proton here, so it's a base, and the nitric acid donates the proton. Okay, let's look at another one, sulfate ion. SO4, remember that's minus two, so it wants two protons. It needs charge to, to, to make it neutral. If I then make this H2SO4 aqueous, now you have two protons, which neutralize, donate two protons to neutralize the sulfate ion. Now we have sulfuric acid, right? So this was nitric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. Okay, so nitric acid is giving up a single proton, single proton. In solution, sulfuric acid wants to give away two protons, right? Because sulf wants to be the sulfate ion minus two. We would say that nitric acid is monoprotic, one proton gives one proton. So nitric acid is a monoprotic acid. What do you think sulfuric acid is? Well, sulfuric acid wants to give up two protons. So it's diprotic. Can you guess or figure out what a triprotic acid would be? Well, we know a triprotic acid would be giving up three protons. Well, what's an example? Well, let's look at the phosphate ion. Phosphate ion. Remember, that was PO4 with a minus three charge, right? It needs three protons. So if I put three protons with that, I get H3. PO4, now it's neutral, make that aqueous, and now we have phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid. And so we would say phosphoric acid is an example of a triprotic acid. Sulfuric acid is diprotic because it gives up two protons. Nitric acid is monoprotic. Protic acid. Okay, gives up one proton. All right, so we have some strong acids, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, strong acids. Remember, what makes an acid strong is the rate or how easily it dissociates or gives up protons. Acetic acid, Okay, acetic acid, aceto in Italian means vinegar. So acetic acid is the acid you find in, in uh, 
vinegar. So if I ask the test, test question, which of these acids would you most likely find on the salad? You probably wouldn't find nitric or sulfuric or hydrochloric. Hydrochloric acid is the acid in our stomach, right? Hydrochloric acid. Carbonic acid, again, it's diprotic. Can you see it's diprotic? H2CO3. So CO3 was carbonate. CO3 had a minus two charge. That's the carbonate ion. Now, if I put H2CO3, again, make it aqueous. So it dissociates. So this is a uh, 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 carbonic acid and it would be diprotic. Carbonic acid is actually the uh, acid uh, 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 that's naturally found in uh, rainwater and, and precipitation uh, because when we exhale we put carbon dioxide out in the air and eventually it forms carbonic acid when it mixes with sunlight and water and time in the air so precipitation is naturally a bit acidic okay how do we measure acidity or, or, or alkalinity how basic something is well that's the ph scale and we'll do that in the next lecture OK, just an example of some solid acids. We think of acids as being liquid Two solid acids in particular. Boric acid. If you're a city dweller, you might know about boric acid. People use that uh, uh, for ants or for cockroaches and little pests like that. Um, and also ascorbic acid. You know what ascorbic acid is? Ascorbic acid is vitamin C. So if I ask for an example of a solid acid, those are two examples. Um, again, there's phosphoric acid. We said it's triprotic, wants to give up those three protons to form a phosphate ion. And quickly, again, without going into details, and we're not doing complicated reactions. A conjugate acid, if you see that phrase, refers to a, a species formed when a base accepts a pro proton, okay? Uh, and a conjugate base, the species formed when an acid donates a proton, okay? Let's see. Okay, uh, what we'll talk about next is we want to talk about, most of you know, the pH scale. We'll do this in the next lecture. It's a logarithmic scale. Okay, another logarithmic scale, just so you know, would be uh, earthquakes. It's called the Richter scale. So you see earthquakes of 6 or 7 or 8.2, etc. We'll talk about what logarithmic means, okay? You should know, maybe from biology, that the pH scale goes from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral, okay? more alkaline, more basic. So we'll talk about how we get from zero to 14, seven, and how we measure uh, pH in the next lecture. Okay, that's it. See you next time and uh, be safe. Peace.